All right, my boy squad. Now we are going to a fun picnic with my cousins and my brother. My brother is going to be picking us up anytime now. I can't wait to introduce you guys to my brother, my younger brother, Joe. All right, my brother's here, guys. My buhay squad. I'd like to introduce you to my younger brother, Joseph Bustos. Yes! Hi! There's Blue Joe! Squad, what's up? Yes! <laughs> see, he's actually a model and an actor. Can you see? You see? Don't look he's at He's so me. fit. And look, he's into Marvel. He's like a superhero yeah. guy. Yeah. Alright, so today will be all about our generation. Like, basically we're hanging out with my cousins who we are so close to. They're practically our siblings. There's a lot of them. Yeah. A lot of names. So coming with us also is Pinoy. We have all his gear. Mm -hmm. Look at all these little trick, these Marvel mm -hmm. characters <laughs> from Disneyland Hong Kong. Yes, mm -hmm. brings me back memories. Yeah, this he got them from when we were in Hong Kong Disneyland. It's wow, I like this one. So nice. Cool. They're cute. Pinoy, you ready to party? <laughs> We're here. Park. Tenoy, come on. <laughs> we got batting cages. Ooh. And I believe there are go-karts down there. This is a neat park. We're in an area called Etobicoke. Etobicoke. <laughs> Literally is how it's spelled. Pinoy. Right. Batting cages. I like it. Come on, Pinoy. Mm, it smells like grass. I've missed this smell. So lots of people are here. It's a public park. See, Canada is quite multicultural. People bring their tents and stuff. Yeah, maybe they're from India or they're from Pakistan or they could be from a variety of countries. Sri Lanka, yeah. It's really chill. I like it. Wow, awesome. Pinoy, come. We're trying to find my cousins now. <laughs> so guys, this park is quite large. Come on, Pinoy. And Pinoy chooses to pee beside every single tree. Come on. <laughs> All right, our cousins are somewhere here. We'll find them. Wow, they're grilling right now and it's smelling really good. <gasps> Caribbean. Oh, it's Caribbean food. Awesome. My boy squad, let's go to the Caribbean one day. They have amazing food. Jerk chicken, <gasps> oxtail rice and peas. Mm. Yeah, we found them. Good job, Joe. He's pooing. Okay guys, so by law, here in Canada, you've got to pick up the poo. The noisies dropped some bombs. No, there was one more. Yay! Gifts. Alright guys, so meet my cousins slash siblings, essentially. This is JC, yes, and wife Dari, and baby Jacob. How are you? <laughs> He's so cute. He's crawling now. This is crazy. I've been watching all of these babies grow through Facebook. This here is Zelda. Look at her dress. Adorable. Zelda because the parents, well, all my cousins happen to be gamers. <laughs> Where's her name inspired from the game? <laughs> so there's JP or Jericho and wife Nikki and beautiful baby here, Zelda. And then her brother over here playing baseball. Hi, Jude. He's so big now, like literally, I remember when he was just crawling, like <laughs> now he's full out playing baseball. Show us how, show us how Jude. All right, good job. Galing. Wow, look at all the gear. <gasps> Man, I would have loved this as a kid. Radio flyer. <gasps> wow. Joe, there are burgers. Mmm, yummy. Mmm, the food. <gasps> Cheeses, yum. Oh, chips. Mmm. <gasps> oh, yum. This is so good. Yummy. Okay. And then there are burgers, apparently, and hot dogs. Let's check it out. Oh, wow. Mmm. 
I think I'll have a burger. Oh my gosh, guys. I see a vlogging camera. <laughs> and tripod. Guys, me and my cousins, RJ and Charlene, and their newest baby. Oh, James, he's so adorable. Hi, James, it's so nice to meet you in person. Hello. Oh, he's smiling. Yes, guys, I am the Nino. Ooh, I'm gonna spoil you. <laughs> I love it. Love it so much. Hey, I'm smiling at you. Yes. <laughs> and look at all of that hair. I know, right? Did he get that from you, RJ? Uh, yeah. <laughs> RJ had a lot of hair as a kid. Cute. I love the shirt. The onesie. You made that? Wow. It's cute. Very nice. Guys, this is Marigold. Yes. Also known as Catherine. And Marianne. Yes. RJ has like five sisters and they're all... The summer are still coming. Man, all of these babies. I swear. This is my first time meeting James. My Ina Anak. Last time I was here, he was so small. They're all, everybody's having babies. Everybody's having offspring. <laughs> Man, look at all the snacks. <gasps> Guys, I never knew they had this. Nutella filled cookies. What? Oh, and then like summery muffins, cupcakes. Cute. Look at that melted popsicle. Oh, summery. Oh, what is this? Cinnamon. Mmm. Oh, thank you guys. Oh, there's an How nice. See that? Oh, did you print those? I made them. Wow. Char Charlene is really good at this stuff, like making this kind of thing. There you go. Thank you. It was supposed oh, to be that's one really year, nice. one year, but the cupcakes got So nice. Thank you. Yeah, RJ's going to take an Instagram story now. <laughs> Me too. Oh boy, squad, this is my Tito Ruben. Hi, how are you? Yeah, the brother of my mom. Yes. Welcome to Canada. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh, and guys, look. Look at what they brought. <gasps> pizza, pizza! My favorite pizza! Mmm. <gasps> Yum. Mmm, salad. Oh, pakwan. Yum, watermelon, guys. Mmm. And this was our contribution, polvoron, <laughs> from Philippines. Oh, but this pizza though. <gasps> when was the last time we had pizza pizza? Oh man, it's ages ago, guys. <laughs> ages. Hi, guys. Hey, how are What's you? going on? Good. This is Richelle and Matt. Hi. Yep. And Isaac. little Isaac. Say hi, Isaac. Hi, Isaac. Hi. So cute. <laughs> Adorable. See, all these babies and parents. I love seeing my cousins as parents. It's so interesting. Like, in my mind, they're still like, we're still kids. <laughs> but now watching them hold their own kids, it's just an unreal experience. It's quite nice. RJ is so funny, the way he's describing the vlogs. <laughs> he was talking about how we eat, and by the way, we're gonna eat some food later. You guys have to subscribe to his channel. I'm leaving it here. Subscribe right now. There, this, right we here. We just started vlogging, so uh, we have, I have a lot of footage to go through, and we just started vlogging, but I'm gonna try to get into it. And yes, you guys follow. parenting channel. <laughs> That's right, all you parents. Me and Mikey are very close in age. We were like yes. six months apart. Yes. We were pen pals. <laughs> we wrote like physical yes. letters to each other. You know when we my first book? Yeah. I found your letters now. You did? Yeah. Oh. I found them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna vlog them. And oh man, them. yeah. I can't wait to see that. <laughs> we used to make each other puzzles and all of this. Mazes. Yeah. Like, uh, riddles. <laughs> That's right. Oh yeah. man. And pen pals. We used to do the music parodies together as kids. That's right. And I'm so happy to see Mikey continuing that. Yay. Over. Yeah, so thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we used to write these parodies as kids, guys. And it's it's interesting that now I do it for a living. <laughs> Art, we're, we're recalling one of such parodies that we wrote as a kid. Go, RJ. I don't know why these are the lyrics. Parody. I blew up Kirby on a Saturday night. I went outside and I had a frostbite. <laughs> And then I got a nose job, and then I turned my skin to purpley white. Isn't that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the black and white Michael Jackson. <laughs> We're under the maple tree. Look at the maple tree. It's so awesome. It's asking to be climbed. <gasps> As a kid, I would love to climb these. You just need to get up to the first branch, and you'll be good. You can climb the rest after that. All right, guys, I gotta go to the bathroom. If this were Philippines, I would probably just like pee by a nearby tree. 
but I can't hear. <laughs> wow, look at this tree. This is so nice, this tree. Ah, this is where all that cool music is coming from. From these people. I believe they're African. This is African music. Love it. And here are some folks playing cricket. See? I believe they may be Arab. And they're playing cricket. Remember when we were in Dubai, Mubuhai Squad? And they were playing cricket? And then we have our Caribbean folks here making barbecue. It's really great. And I believe these folks are Ethiopian, if I'm not mistaken. We've got a drinking fountain here. See? And that's clean drinking water. Let's have some. <coughs> Refreshing. So as you can see, Toronto and I suppose Canada in general, but more so Toronto, is quite multicultural. Um, and if we make it to Montreal, it's also quite multicultural there as well. Canadians really pride ourselves in being culturally diverse. And we're not a melting pot like the US. Like, a lot of these people preserve their culture. Like, they, you know, cook their own culture's food, they keep their customs, and the country supports that. We believe in strength in diversity. Of course, you know, racism kind of exists everywhere. Um, but generally, if you come to Canada, you'll see it's just in the air. We're very supportive, mostly, of, uh, of cultural diversity. And I really like it. It allowed my parents to stay and keep Filipino, you know what I mean? And pass the traditions down to my brother and I. And it's nice that all the different cultural communities can have a public place like this to kind of gather and, you know, enjoy this beautiful weather. <laughs> and I'm really liking that African music. My boy squad, promise, we are gonna go to Africa soon. I don't know when, <laughs> but I hope. All right, so now they're playing this frisbee game called Go Gator. What's the, what's the object? Oh, we have to, they have to get it into the slot, okay. And then you get points for that. Oh, okay. All right. Oh. Oh, pretty close though. Oh. Wow. You know, watching a frisbee is quite satisfying. Oh, it's so close, Gold. Oh. Very close. Oh, Tito Ruben and James. Lolo Ruben, actually. <laughs> Oh. Second Apo. Yes. Second Apo. James. Second grandson. Sleeping tight. So cute. This is his first picnic. All right. It's Tita Baby and Uncle Joe. Hi. <laughs> yes. It's so hot and sunny right now. It's awesome. Instructions by my agent not to get tagged by <laughs> My agent just said not to get tan lines, so I'm doing this. The umbrella. The umbrella Filipino. Technique. Yes, the umbrella technique. Very Filipino. Wow, this is quite... I go to get a watermelon and then I come back, I come back to this huge umbrella. Oh, what a good idea, RJ. So guys, RJ and my brother are like the masters of creativity and humor. They are so funny. They are so funny and so creative, both of them. Yeah, promise. Watermelon, guys. Mm, yummy, juicy. Mm. So good. Hey, I want to say hi. Hi, Mabu High Squad. Yum. Didn't get to say hi to you guys. Yes. But Mabu High has many meanings, right? Mm -hmm. it yes. Means like welcome, it means yeah, or long life. Long life. Literally, it means long life. Yeah, yeah. kind of like Viva Italia. It's derived from the word buhai, which means life. Mm -hmm. And squad is obviously a group of people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you say buhai, buhai squad, squad. For life, you're saying to life. <laughs> yeah. To life, squad. To life, <laughs> life. So literal. <laughs> you see, creativity. <laughs> All right, can you guys believe we stayed out here pretty much till sundown. <laughs> this was so fun. And Pinoy is exhausted, tired, 
Hey. Bye Zelda. Bye. <laughs> hands up, baby, hands up. Give me your heart, give me, give me your heart. Give me, give me. Bye, James. Yes. So cute. Guys, it was so comfortable sleeping under this tree. <laughs> oh man. And RJ and I are jet lagged, so it felt like nighttime sleep. Wow. Bye, guys. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Bye, babies. All right. Joe, thank you for driving and everything. We'll see you later in a couple days. Yeah. Sounds good. My boy, High Squad, we're going to go hang out at his place and sleep over. Bye, Joe. So, how is it? It was good. Huh? I slept. <laughs> I slept through most of it. I'm going to sleep some more. I'm exhausted. My boy, High Squad, I am so sleepy. Wow. <gasps> OMG! <gasps> My boy, High Squad, check this out! <laughs>